Hey guys, it's Dante at SMG War Relics, and this is my top 10 reasons why you should go to the SOS this year in 2024 and every year. Uh, I was sitting on the couch watching Dallas get their poop pushed in, and I said, you know what? I'm done with this game. Let's finish up this little uh, top 10 list. So here we go. First one up is road trips. Half the battle and half the fun to getting to your destination is the road trip. Now, if you fly in, that's fine. You know, it's Louisville, Kentucky. So it's uh, logistically, it's it's kind of in the middle, right? But it's still far for a lot of people. I mean, shit, it takes me 12 hours to get there by car. But um, if you're if you're doing a road trip, it's really fun if you have a good uh, co-pilot or multiples driving with you. So road trip, number 10. Number nine coming up, this is... A crazy throwback picture. I had to dig out of the archives. I've had it kicking around. I've been meaning to scan it and show you guys. This is 30 years ago. That's Tom Whitman on the left, 30 years younger, and that's me, your host, Dante Gambino, as a little shit nerd with my big gigantic glasses. Well, Tom had similar glasses back then, too. That was just a style of the day. And uh, <laughs> it just cracks me up. I'm wearing my Army lacrosse hat and uh, bum equipment. Jesus Christ. When's the last time you saw someone with a bum equipment shirt? And guess what I'm holding? I'm holding uh, freaking Herman Goring's jeweled hunting cutlass. So number nine is nostalgia. Nostalgia. These kind of things you hold on to for years. In this case, 30 years, this picture and this memory of me and Tom going way, way, way back, and now we look both completely different, except Tom is still bald as shit. All right, let's see. What's next on the... Oh, well, here we'll st we're sticking with nostalgia here, too. This is not as old. This is only maybe four or five years old at the SOS. Um, and basically, this is Tom and <laughs> Bill Panagopoulos, Pretty much outside of a hotel uh, lobby outside, just yelling at me for something. I don't know what they're yelling at me for. It's probably something to do with old people no more than young people kind of thing, because that's just how it goes these days. So, yeah, these two old fogies. And going back to that other picture, um, I, that may have been at the Max show, if I recall, the one with the jeweled hunting cutlass. Um, so some of these might have some Max show stuff kind of mixed in back when the max was like the heyday uh but you know still you're creating memories and nostalgia so good stuff yeah hanging outside of the hotels it sounds stupid but it's just it's it's part of the experience and you know guys like tom whitman and bill panagopoulos are always finding their ways into something so you'll see them around for sure What's next? Number eight, uh, friends. Just meeting your friends from around the country that um, you don't get to see all the time. So in um, my case, um, all of my friends, no one lives more than closer than, what, four hours from me? Everyone's all over the country. So, um, yeah, in this shot, you can see Mario, Billy Kramer, uh, Josh Dota, um, Kyle Kellner and me just kind of hanging out. We decided to do this really stupid staged gay boy band thing. And <laughs> yeah, it's stupid. I get it. But you know what? It's a picture that is makes me smile every time I see it. So I figured I'd share that with you. But uh, yeah, going to see your friends is huge. Here's another one of me, Billy, and Mario. Um, I don't know. This was, I think Billy was waiting inside of a restaurant through the glass and Mario took a selfie and then someone edited me in there. So this this is just, again, another photo that really makes me laugh. And I, I thought I would share it with you guys. But, uh, yeah, most of us met uh, through Facebook back in the day, the, the glory days of Facebook, before I really got fed up with Facebook and kind of got off of there altogether because I'm just sick and tired of it. Um, Here's Josh and Billy holding hands. They're just true, true love and friendship. And, you know, that's what uh, we've got each other's backs. And, uh, yeah, holding hands 
smoking a stogie. It's it's very romantical. <laughs> Still on the friendship, and we have uh, Bill P. Bill Panagopoulos getting boob smothered by Josh Dota because Josh Dota is a gigantic man. Um, good good dude, and he's huge, and he. I don't know. He's. I don't know if he slept in like his parents fed him Miracle Grow when he was a kid or something. But the man is gigantic. Here, here he is picking up uh, Billy Kramer, and Bill, <laughs> you can see by Billy's little beer belly there that he's not exactly a small person. And Josh is just picking him up like he's a freaking toddler. So, uh, yeah. Uh, what's next coming up here? Number seven is. Um, what is number seven? I wrote all this stuff down trying to get this, but basically this is just um, getting to meet uh, people and seeing all the things that, you, you know, you only see online, like all the dealers and stuff that you only see online. So here's a ruptured duck. I think there, I don't know if Bill Shea's cut off, but he's over to the left there and I'm not super friendly with him. Not, not meaning I'm not friendly, but um, yeah, he's a good, they're good people. I, I just don't really talk to them. Same thing with uh, Burmeister. He's a good dude. But, like, you know, he's got crazy stuff. So you want to see some crazy stuff and meet people that, like, you know, are kind of like, uh, for lack of a better word, like the hierarchy in the in the hobby. Like, you know, oh, man, the guys that run all these fancy websites that you see. Well, this is the place to come and see all those guys, right? Here's Johnson. Uh, you know, they've had great tables. Uh, you know, Tom Johnson is, is passed away. But uh, they – I don't know if they're going to continue the company or not, but – when they're there, they put on a, a great spread of really high quality stuff. So, uh, of course, Edge Weapons is the main focal point for them. Um, and then, well, let's just look at this. I mean, as everyone's favorite dealer is uh, SMG Warlocks. How did that get in there? I don't know. But um, there's uh, Jeremy, uh, one of Billy's table helpers in the background there. And, uh, yeah, so come see all your favorite dealers at the SOS. What's coming up next here? Number six is, oh, it's huge. It's huge. It's gigantic. It's a 2,000 table spread. It's the biggest in the country. Um, so everybody shows up there. Um, anybody who's anybody pretty much shows up at the SOS. Um, if they're not going to sell or to buy, they're just there to be a part of the scene, be a part of the, the excitement. Um, last year, it was... Uh, the best SOS on record in terms of door attendance. So hopefully this year is going to be the same thing. So don't miss out. This is, it's worth just investing in a hotel and some travel expenses to get there, to be a part of it. Even if you don't go to buy anything, just come in for a day or two and just get in the mix, um, experience everything you know, soak it all in. Yeah, uh, you know, you never. There's nothing that's gonna replicate this. This is not like a little, you know, dinky show at the freaking local uh, gymnasium. This is good stuff right here. Uh, coming up is a picture of yeah. So here's a the map of the of the whole thing. So you can see there's like two thousand tables jammed in there, and uh, every year you're trying to figure out the. Uh, where people are and everything so it's uh it's interesting try to keep the tables in the same spot every year but every year you're trying to get more tables so you have a better spread so sometimes it changes oh this is number five this is um you know <laughs> this is great stuff right here this yeah it's a picture of booze this is the hotel room the hotel room is number five top 10 reasons to come to the sos because there's shenanigans in the hotel room, boys and girls, and it's a good time, and memories are made in the hotel rooms. And here's Sergey and Joe, and that little red thing that's scribbled out there. Um, yeah, that's a that's a wiener with a suction cup on it. Uh, and so, yeah, there's some uh, shenanigans that go on, and uh, we've been known to break out the, uh, the wiener sometimes. And... Um, it's just become a staple. Here's Billy with the wiener above his head on a mirror. And there's a do not disturb sticker <laughs> door hanger on the wiener as well. <laughs> and um, yeah, you know, it's crass, boys and girls. I understand. But you know what? This is a time when four-year-old men can, you know, revert to their 16-year-old selves, their true identities. 
outside of the hotel room too is um is a good time you know if it's nice weather out you know i think this is max is this the max hotel probably i can't remember but yeah outside the hotel rooms sometime after dinner we're hanging out out there if it's nice weather um in the lobby whatever oh this is don lemon with a wiener on his face before he got fired this was actually two years ago, uh, right when Ukraine was getting invaded. That happened while we were at the Mac show. It was insane. I had uh, a Ukrainian friend of mine who, who was at the Mac show named Alex just going bonkers. Well, this is an adult bookstore or whatever you want to call it. And yeah, sure, this is where the wieners come from, right? They don't just sprout out of nowhere. You've, ha you've got to purchase them. So this is where we, uh, we locate and uh, procure our wieners. And uh, it's a good time. It just, you know, let your guard down. Go have some fun with your friends. Go into the bookstore. Go into, go into the sex shop, man. It's fun. Number, what number is this? What the hell are we on? We're on number four. So this is, you're going to see shit you've never seen before, okay? You're going to be amazed at the stuff you see. So this one happens to also be in the hotel room. But, um, yeah, this is a Himmler tapestry uh, that's insane, I would have never seen it if I didn't go to the SOS. <clears throat> and here's a uh, here's one of my cases: a General D. Luftwaffe General Degen and uh, a um, what you call it, a Hitler a High Leader funeral sash. Um, I don't have a lot of pictures of other dealers' tables. I just I just I, I don't really go around filming other dealer stuff. So uh, this is a a picture of. Uh, I mean, it's it's impressive. It's not maybe jaw dropping but this dude comes in all the time and he he puts together really nice collections and he sets up his stuff and nothing's for sale but if you want to see like really good mint condition things this dude he loves nskk nskkk stuff nsk nskk jesus i'll throw an extra k in there by accident total slip of the tongue oh here you'll also get to see i think this is the max though this dude is dead but you know an indonesian man playing the bagpipes so the, again, memories. I don't know if he did go. I think he was just at the old Mac shows. But again, weird shit you're going to see. Um, guaranteed stuff you've never seen before at the shows. Oh, here's a case full of Mother's Crosses that I um, I, I got a hold of a horde find of Mother's Crosses from Europe. And I got my dirty little hands in there and bought, um, I don't know how many I bought, a lot. And um, they're long gone, but it was cool to have those. Believe it or not, I couldn't get top dollar for them because I think people thought there was something wrong with them, but there's nothing wrong with them. Um, number three is going out to dinner. This is a huge part of the experience for us. Uh, if you're a, a homebody, then you know what? It sucks to be you, and you're just going to go home to your hotel and just chill out and masturbate, and that's fine. But if you like to go out and have fun with your friends, then number three this is downtown Louisville. It's awesome down there. You got to go if you go down there. This is um, <laughs> this is Will Docus's face cropped in over someone who is not no longer part of this the 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 clique here. Uh, but this is at Tim. You see the old dude on the left there. That's that's Tim Alexander, and this is his famous uh, his favorite restaurant. It's a um, it's a little barbecue place in Louisville, and uh, it's okay, I guess. I'm not a big barbecue fan. Uh, this is a German restaurant. I don't know. I don't remember. I think this is probably in the uh, from the Mac show. But again, going out to dinner with your bros, having a good time, enjoying some good food, and uh, just kicking back, talking about the day and everything. It's a big part of uh, what we look forward to every day. Let's see what else is coming up here. Oh, this is this is definitely Louisville. That that uh, gorgeous woman in the middle of me and Mario. That's my wife, and uh, she's <laughs> she, I think she had a little too much to drink that night. <laughs> she's getting a little frisky. It was good for me, um, but uh, yeah, the it's just a good time in downtown Louisville. Highly recommend it. Uh, this <laughs> this is Mario. Before he lo Mario lost a lot of weight. This is before he lost all that weight. Um, we this is our favorite Japanese restaurant. And guys, when I tell you, I've been I've had Japanese food all over the country. This is the best Japanese restaurant in Louisville. I I, I swear to God, I've ever had. 
the guy who owns it, a little Japanese guy, he's running around busting tables and making sure all the food is good. And the food is just phenomenal. The fried rice, out of this world. The sushi rolls are great. Um, they have this edamame, garlic soy edamame. is just blow your mind. It's so good. And you might get your picture taken and put in uh, one of the SOS books. This is my ugly mug in uh, one of the SOS books. Um, number two is um, basically, what the fuck is number two? <laughs> what did I write down? Oh, just hands-on experience. Yeah, so here's Tim Alexander again holding a uh, Panzer Shrek. So you're going to get to to hold stuff and see stuff, uh, learn stuff that you would never be able to learn before. So it's just a great experience. Here's Mario um, with a freaking RPG. Uh, this is after he lost weight, so he see he looks really good. Uh, but yeah, you're gonna see all kinds of crazy stuff and be able to touch and hold things, and you know, just uh, ask before you touch something, please. Um, don't just walk up to people's stuff and start putting your booger hands on it. Number one, it, the most important thing and the best thing is networking. Um, here's me and Tom Durante who um, wrote several books but i'm holding his last book or most recent book up uh the close combat clasp um and tom's a really good dude you should if you get a chance to meet him i think you would agree he's a fantastic ambassador uh to the hobby so that's it top 10 reasons to visit the sos